Inspirational Creatives, episode 184. Welcome to Inspirational Creatives. I'm your host, Rob Lawrence. Join me every Friday as I chat with successful artists, producers, and creative entrepreneurs who share powerful stories and strategies. They can help you to create the life that you want. Listen each week as these inspirational creatives show you how to take your creativity to the next level. You'll learn how to create a sustainable business that inspires others and gives you the financial freedom and lifestyle that you want. Thanks for listening. Make sure you subscribe in iTunes and sign up at inspirationalcreatives.com to get free exclusive bonus material. And now on with the show. Rob here and a happy new year. Welcome to this special short action episode of Inspirational Creatives and the very first episode for 2017. This week, following the replay of my conversation with simplicity expert and becoming minimalist blogger and author Joshua Becker, we're going to feature a rerun of an original short action episode from just over two years ago. Since then, having spoken with many of the listeners of Inspirational Creatives, I've learned that not only are these short action episodes invaluable, helping you to find ways to live more creatively, productively and meaningfully, they've also gone a long way to help you to simplify your life. So in this short action episode, and it's one of my favourites so far, I want to share with you Joshua's simple approach to his writing. Even though we're talking about Joshua's writing today, as you'll hear, this approach can be used with almost any creative endeavour. Now, I believe it doesn't matter whether you're writing a blog post, a song, a project plan or a book, the environment that you write in will affect your creative flow. So in the original episode, episode six, when this podcast was very young, and in the last episode, 183, I asked Joshua about his writing environment. I wanted to ask you a little bit more about your writing and the environment that you actually write in. Yeah, sure. Environment-wise, I write in a a very uncluttered environment. I I sit at my dining room table, as a matter of fact. And um, I sit at my dining room table, and ideally I I write best with a a sheet of paper and a pen next to me and, and a cup of coffee or a glass of water. That's... That, that tends to be what I what I write best. It's it's not every environment. Sometimes there's other papers, you know, lying around that, that I didn't get around to picking up if it's the end of the day or something. So ideally, it's it's nothing where there's where there's very few distractions around me. Mentally, interestingly, I, I my my most productive writing is is in the morning, and I always say that I. I write best in the morning if I've spent time in the evening thinking about what I'm going to write about. Maybe, you know, beginning the outline of, of, a, of a write, of a, a post or a, a chapter and, and putting some words on paper if, if I have them. But when I leave and when I sleep, I just wake up in the morning and I, and as you had mentioned, I, I think that, you know, my, my mind's been cleared out over the course of the, over the night. You know, I wake up in the morning with, without the, the stress from the day and without the worries from the, from the previous day. And I'm able to, to write from a very fresh mindset. I think there's scientific things that, that happen in your brain overnight while you're, while you're sleeping, especially if you're, you know, thinking about a topic where, where things are, connections are made, um, which, which bring better clarity to it. But yeah, that would be my, that would be my environment, both physically and mentally. Joshua keeps his environment simple. He also prepares his thoughts and work the night before. So here are a few things you could try for 2017. First, attempt to find a place that you can regularly use that inspires you for your creativity work. What can you do to keep it simple? Ideally, this would be a place that is uncluttered and free from distraction. As we heard, Joshua quite simply uses his dining room table to write. Second, prepare your materials and thoughts the night before. By doing so, Joshua claims that he's able to approach his writing with a clear mind in the morning. Since interviewing Joshua some two years ago, I found this has been an incredibly powerful action for myself. By organising the work for the next day, the evening before, I can jump straight into that work the following day. I found that this approach saves me a lot of time as I don't spend the first hour or two each day figuring out what needs to be done. Now, you might want to go further by identifying the night before any elements that could potentially distract or interrupt you, such as the internet, the telephone, the television or the radio. You might want to switch all of those things off just while you work. Third and finally, don't forget to show up. Commit to your creative process and try your best not to get too distracted with other matters before you have a chance to create or write. You may find that preparing in advance and working in a regular place that inspires you actually allows you to be more creative when you get down to focusing on your work. 
Good luck taking action today. Let me know how you get on by reaching me at inspirationalcreatives.com forward slash contact. Don't forget to check out Joshua's blog at becomingminimalist.com and everything else he had to say in episode 183, which you can find on inspirationalcreatives.com. Thanks for listening. Nothing beats the stories and advice of an expert to help you raise your creative game. I would love to know what you thought about today's episode, so don't forget to subscribe in iTunes where you can rate and review the show. Your review is the best way for other people to find us. I might even give you a mention. If you like this episode, I invite you to share it on Facebook or Twitter with the one person you know who will benefit from the wisdom shared here today. You can find the show notes on inspirationalcreatives.com forward slash podcast. If you have a burning question or a great idea for a guest, head on over to inspirationalcreatives.com forward slash contact where you can connect with me there. 